The men and women who serve in our battlefields may be Democrats and Republicans and Independents, but they have fought together and bled together, and some died together under the same proud flag. They have not served a red America or a blue America. They have served the United States of America. Anytime you use red for the conservative party and blue for the liberal party, if we accept those definitions, you're just totally out of scheme with the, uh, uh, the colors of history, in other words. Communism was red and Toryism was blue, so why do we have it reversed? Obviously some noodle head at the media got this rolling and it's, it's unfortunate. <laughs> I started following politics in the 1950s, it was axiomatic that the Democrats were the party of the poor and the working class, the Republicans were the party of the rich. Uh, that's been sort of turned upside down. This is a narrative invented by Republicans to, to claim majoritarian legitimacy for, uh, for a president who did, in fact did not win a majority, who, who uh, lost in the popular vote. And indeed this is something that they've been saying for a really long time. Uh, on the one hand you have Richard Nixon's Middle America, the silent majority. It is another voice. It is the quiet voice in the tumult of the shouting. It is the voice of the great majority of Americans, the forgotten Americans, the non-shouters, the non-demonstrators. The good old grassroots people, you know, uh, Reagan country, you know, you think of all the different ways that they have evoked middle America over the years. And then on the other hand, you have the liberal elite, the people who drive Volvos and eat sushi and uh, drink lattes or whatever, you know, whatever the stereotype it is. And this, the red state, blue state thing is just this Republican vision uh, cast as sociology, cast as something real. Well, you know, in the year 2000 election, uh, Bush did win the white working class vote. On what issues? Two basic issues. One was guns, uh, and the other was religion. Now, are those the things that are highest in the priorities of working class people? Like they care more about guns than whether they can take care of their disabled mother or whether they're gonna have a pension when they retire. And so yes, there's a, there is a red-blue split, but uh, on the narrow array of, uh, uh, I don't even want to call them issues, of topics that are allowed to show up in, the, in an electoral system. You've got the liberals, if you will, or the Democrats clustered on the coast and in the northeast, and uh, the rest of the country, which is rather sneeringly uh, designated by those people as flyover country, as, as you know, the rest of us. It is striking that the Democratic vote is so clustered in a few places, and the Republican vote is everywhere else. You know, we often laugh and say we wish that we could vote by um, by square mileage in America. <laughs> um, then, then conservatives would win all the time. Really, ideologically, there's a melting pot. You know, you have your strong conservatives, you know, such as myself. You have your strong liberals, uh, John Kerry, uh, Ted Kennedy, and you have people in the middle. Yet, certain issues, you know, people sway different ways. I have a, a very good cousin who's a strong conservative, but one or two issues, he's totally liberal on. It's true that you know the southern states are generally and always more conservative than the northern states. But there would be a, a, an oversimplification to simply uh, describe the division in the country as a geographic one, because the division is really an ideological one. And that division exists in every state in the Union. 
That is, uh, while the southern states may have a majority uh, of, let's say, pro-war people, there exists in the southern states a strong minority of anti-war people. In other words, the, in every region of the country there is a division. All of this, in my opinion, is a total waste of time. I don't know why those two colors were chosen, and I hope at some point when things get more rational again, they can, they can do a better job. <laughs> Bow, 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 bow,